Hello sports fans, I'm Harry. Welcome to Harry's Stuff and Such. And it's that time, Maker Box Month. Stick around, see what's in the box. Hey, and welcome back. As I said, it's Maker Box Month. This is my third Maker Box, so let's take a look and see what's in this new box. What have we got? An assortment of items that I'm not 100% sure of. Okay, 3D fuel, fueling your activity. There's some stickers. Uh, let's see, Geico Tech. Let's see, Geico Tech, easy stick. Uh, okay, there's some brochures on Geico Tech. Uh, e let's see, 3D fuel brochures, a uh, few other brochures on some of the filament that's included in here. Also, some more airheads. That's what was in the last one. Hmm. I'd rather like to see something a little different than airheads. But. And this is a uh, blue raspberry. But let's get to the more important items. What type of filament have we got in here? Filament number one, bag one. All right. Entwine V2, hemp PLA. Entwine, hemp PLA. Says it has a uh, heat bed temperature, 180 to 210. Uh, the, let's see, that's the hot end temperature, 180 to 210 C. Bed temperature, room temp to 60 degrees C. There is no speed listed. A fan is yes. May wear brass nozzles, hardened steel. Advise. Again, this is the hemp entwine, hemp PLA. That's interesting. Not sure what I'll print with that. I'll have to think about it. But it is made is by 3D Fuel, and it's made in the USA. So 3D Fuel made in the USA. All right, that's bag number one. What's in the bag number two? Oh, okay. It looks like a little nylon again. Let's see. It says the um, hot end temp is 228, 235. Bed temp is room. Uh, no speed listed, no fan needed. Let's see, print on glue stick or the enclosed Geico Tech sample. All right, so the Geico Tech sample. I'll probably just print on a glue stick. So there you go. Again, this is a Made in USA filament. And uh, Palman 3D nylon. I haven't printed with nylon, so this will be my first try with nylon. I think of something, maybe I need a part for my vehicle that's a nylon that I can reprint. So we'll see. All right, that's bag number two. What's bag number three? Okay, the envelope says marble colored PLA. Okay, that's kind of interesting. This is from print solid, printed solid. All right, it's a, um, a bit, let's see, hot end temp, 190 to 210 C, bed temp, 0 to 60, speed, 20 to 80 mil per second, fan, yes, no other special requirements. Uh, print you a unique look, so you can print unique looking objects with this marble colored PLA. Uh, it is white PLA with black PLA flex mixed in. Uh, a bit more subtle than other marble PLA on the market. So there you go from printed solid. It's a marble PLA. So I'll give that a shot. Maybe I can reprint the thinker and see how that looks in marble. Our Venus de Milo. Maybe that would look good. All right, bag number three. Now last but not least, bag number four. 
Okay, this is the bonus sample. You get 50% uh, extra with the bonus sample. The, uh, so it is another PLA as well. This time it is made in USA. Uh, hot end temp 190 to 210C. Room temp to 60 degrees C on the bed. An old speed listed fan, yes. This is 50% extra. Uh, so this is from Rhino uh, Reel made here in the USA there you go take a good look so those are the four filaments that were in the box so I guess it's time to start printing and see what it looks like let's get to it all right then so I've completed the prints with the filaments that was in this month's maker box. Uh, we had three PLAs and one nylon. And so the first PLA that I'm gonna take a look at is from Rhino 3D, rhinoreel.com. Uh, it's made in the USA. And I printed it at uh, 210 degrees C, had a 60 degree bed temperature. And I used my default settings uh, for the speed that were in my uh, uh, slicer PE. I printed all these items on my uh, original Pooster i3 Mark III and I printed all three of the PLAs at the exact same settings. So like I said the first one on the list is this Rhino Reel. It's a purple grape PLA and here is what first item that was printed and turned out pretty good. I don't see any issues, problems. I like the way it turned out. And then there's the low poly Pikachu. I think he turned out really well. Also, I've done no post-processing of any of these uh, prints so that you can see what they look like any stringing and whatnot. And then I downloaded this item, something a little different, a little castle. I think I printed this at half size uh, just because I was getting low on filament. But it looks pretty good. I like the way it turned out. Well, and then I printed a vase, which uh, this, uh, PLA I had enough to print vase because uh, what MakerBox does is one of your four items they will give you 50% more so I had enough left over to print this vase. And I think it turned out well. I like the way it gets a nice little sheen when it shines through. Now I printed these with a .4 nozzle. Uh, this was a .4 nozzle with a .2 layer height. All of these at point two layer height. So I kind of like this PLA. I like the way the light shines through. Like I said, I think it does a really good job. I don't see any problems with any of these. So I like this PLA, so I may have to get some of that. Like I said, it's from rhinoreel.com. And uh, so next on this list is from uh, eTwine V2. It's a hemp PLA. Uh, that's the specs. I printed it at the same temperature, 210, same on the nozzle, 60 degrees on the bed. Uh, layer height, 0.2, and it's a 0.4 nozzle. So there's the astronaut. I think he looks looks well. I don't see any major issues. This is an interesting. I've never used the hemp PLA. And this is the low poly Pikachu. And you'll notice there was a lot more stringing. I noticed that this had a lot more stringing than what I'm used to with any of the PLAs that I've done before. So I assume that's a result of the hemp. And here's how the castle looks. 
again, I have done no post-processing. That's why you saw the strings on the uh, low-poly Pikachu. So, looks good. Again, this is uh, from 3dfuel.com. It's a, a hemp PLA. And uh, it says it may have some uh, wear on your nozzles. Use a hardened steel. I was using my Olsen Ruby, which so I had no problem with that. Next on the list is this uh, marble colored PLA. It's made in China, and it comes from uh, PrintedSolid.com. Again, it has the same temperature range as the other two PLAs, so I printed it. Like I said, the exact same settings: 210 degrees C on the uh, hot end, 60 degrees C on the bed. Uh, everything else was the same. So let's take a look at the astronaut. Okay, I think that marble look to it is pretty decent. I like the way it turned out. Looks good. And then the Pikachu. Again, I've done no post-processing. You'll see that there's not as much stringing and like I said, I think Pikachu turned out quite well. And the castle. Castle did well too. I like this castle. All right, last but not least is nylon. And this nylon is made in the USA. It's Tallman 3D. Uh, Tallman3D.com. This is a is their 230 nylon, and it had a temperature of 228 to 235C uh, with uh, uh, the bed no bed temperature at all. It was at room temp. Now they recommended using a glue stick, or there was a uh, Gecko Tech uh, sample enclosed, but I didn't use it. I wound up using glue stick, and that's the 230 nylon package and I didn't print those any of the items that I've just gone through I wanted to see something different for nylon so one thing I did was I printed this uh, cable tie sort uh, hook on this end so basically you fold it over with your cable roll it up and you got multiple slots and then you pull it in and it holds your cable in place and then you can hook it on the wall you know, and so this is pretty strong, pretty good nylon. Uh, it was a little stringy to start with, uh, but I think it printed well. And then I thought I wanted to try something else with the uh, with the nylon, so I, I printed some uh, some I guess dry lean clones. Oops, sorry, printed some dry lean clones bearings, eight millimeter. Uh, since I'm building a printer, uh, I thought I would try these uh, instead of using linear bearings just to see how well these nylon bearings work. And to show you, okay, here's a standard linear bearing, and here's the nylon bearing. And let's see if I can get this up to the mic so you can hear the difference. So the nylon, of course, will make no noise. I mean, I have some dry lean on my A8 and other printers. I like them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I thought I would try this printing with the nylon. It seems to work. I think I'll uh, give it a shot. What do you got to lose? I mean, even if it wears out, you reprint another one. It's not like it costs a lot to reprint one. But I do like the less noise. Okay, so there you have it. These are the four filaments that were in the, this month's uh, Maker Box. Uh, I didn't have a problem with any of them, printing with any of them. Uh, uh, the only thing was, like I said, the uh, uh, hemp PLA was a little more stringy. Uh, maybe if I had a, uh, printed it at a lower temperature, like I said, I printed it at 210, which was the max on its temperature range, so maybe a little lower temp and I wouldn't have got as many st strings. Or maybe if I tried a little different retraction settings, that might have helped as well. But uh, overall, it printed well. 
I, I'm not sure I would use this that much anyways, um, but I mean, it does print well. And like I said, it did say it, you needed a hardened nozzle with this. So if you're thinking about using it, to beware of that. All right, so that concludes this month's Maker Box. Um, if you like this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Uh, anyways, hey, how about leaving a comment of your reason for a thumbs up or thumbs down, what you liked, what you didn't like about the uh, video, and if there are any suggestions that you could uh, uh, help improve uh, my presentation, that would be great too. Or any uh, comments and suggestions on things to you'd like to see maybe, or some different items that I could print uh, if you'd like to see something different. Now, as always, press that subscribe button. Come on, folks. You know you want to help keep an old man off the streets. So I guess that's it uh, for Harry and Harry Stuff and Such. I'll catch you guys on the backside.